Piers Morgan has confronted Remainer Anna Soubry after she hit back at his claim that the European Union had finally united Britain about Brexit amid the row over vaccines which has left the bloc humiliated. The Good Morning Britain presenter took to Twitter on Saturday to launch a stunning attack on Brussels. Mr Morgan blasted the EU's shocking antics after it moved to override part of the Brexit agreement on Northern Ireland to block jabs entering the UK, which has sparked outrage from across the political spectrum. The former newspaper editor tweeted, Congrats to the EU on finally uniting Britain about Brexit. With their shocking antics over vaccines, they've managed to achieve the impossible and make us all, leavers and remainers, think they're a bunch of selfish, ruthless, arrogant twerps. But former Conservative MP Ms. Soubry insisted the UK's vaccine success, which has seen more than 8.3 million people receive their first shot and almost half a million get their second, was nothing to do with Brexit. Dot. She fumed, reckon I speak for a fair few million, we never said the hashtag EU was perfect indeed many of us believed it needed reforming but we believed we were considerably better off in it than out of it. And negotiating our own hashtag COVID vaccine deals was nothing to do with hashtag Brexit. Ms. Soubry's tweet prompted the GMB host to point out she would be blaming Brexit if the UK was as slow as the EU with its rollout. Mr. Morgan said, if the situation was reversed and the EU was performing like the UK on its vaccine rollout, and we were performing as badly as the EU is, then you would definitely be blaming Brexit. The EU has been criticized over its vaccine rollout and is facing supply issues. Brussels on Friday night triggered Article 16 of the Northern Ireland Protocol to control the movement of coronavirus jabs. But a huge backlash from London, Dublin and Belfast forced the bloc to backtrack on the extraordinary move. The EU's actions have even attracted criticism from the likes of arch-remainer Tony Blair. The former Prime Minister told Sky's Sophie Ridge on Sunday it was a very foolish thing to do.